सो हेलो गाइज इट्स कुमार के योर फेवरेट टीचर फॉर डी एस ए प्लस ओ ए प्लस सी पी आई नो मैनी ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर गूगल अप्रेंटाइसशिप टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो आई हैव स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव क्रैक दिस गूगल अप्रेंटाइसशिप प्रोग्राम इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आई आर ऑल्सो हैव स्टूडेंट्स इन माई प्रोग्राम हु हैव क्रैक्ड एस डब्ल्यू इंटर्नशिप रोल एट गूगल एस डब्ल्यू वन एस डब्ल्यू टू एस डब्ल्यू थ्री रोल्स एट गूगल सो वॉट एवर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इज गोइंग टू best piece of content resource information and knowledge on this topic for you now coming to my introduction i have all india rank 12 out of 2 lakh people in google code jam 2021 which is one of the toughest algorithmic dsa competition in the whole world apart from that previously i worked at amazon and mia.net as a software engineer i cracked those offers off campus and now i spend most of my time in guiding and training lovely students like you so in this video guys we are going to discuss in very detail how to prepare for google apprenticeship uh, 2025 there are four type of roles i will discuss uh, two of them in detail which are the technical roles which are data analyst role and the software application development role so let's go to the video ram ram so hello guys with the name of god ram ram first of all congratulations to my student bhargav sharma he has cracked google apprenticeship offer in 2024 and he currently works at google it's been over a year now so congratulations to him also congratulations to my student yashasvi she cracked the off campus software engineering internship from google despite being from tier 3 tier 4 college so congratulations to her as well apart from that i have made a podcast video with one of my students who has cracked google in the past you guys can check it out as well okay now guys before i start the video there is one very important thing see you might be preparing for software application development apprenticeship or sd1 role at google or sd2 role or sd or swe intern at google as we call it i have a 50 page document covering all the google interview problems which were asked not just the lead code problems but the exact hard unseen story based dsa problems which i have collected from lead code discuss and my student interview experiences If you prepare from there, your selection is just guaranteed. Have that faith in yourself. Please have good health and good mindset, and always have faith in God. So, if you want this interview page document, this fifty page document, please comment your email ID in the comments. And to all those email IDs, I'm going to send this Google interview prep document. Okay. Now, guys, the thing is that I want to provide you tremendous value. Okay. I know that students are facing lots of problem in their DSA mainly for online assessments where the hard and seen questions are asked and for interviews also. So every Saturday Sunday I give free live training for hard level DSA plus OA plus CP. Okay, and the link to the group is there below. Like if I scroll below, you will be able to find the group link here. Yeah, here it is. Weekend live training group. So please join it so you can improve. Okay, apart from that. we have the best warm up course in the country for dsa plus oa plus cp so make sure you go through it list of all google online assessment is here go through it google oa dsa video solution is here go through it google interview dsa video solution is there go through it please use whatever i am giving you because i know that these things are the best in the market now talking about the google apprenticeship program of 2025 who is eligible all people who graduated in 2025 24 23 even 22 grad people all are eligible the people mainly with the career gap or the people who have recently graduated if you have done internships in the past no problem but you should not have a full time work experience to your name okay if all these criteria are met you are eligible to apply for this opportunity so it is very very helpful for fresher people and the people with gap the people who could not find a full time job in it basically after graduation it's very very helpful for them okay though there are some other tricks and methodologies which can make you eligible for this opportunity uh, for those things you can you know just contact at my number i will try to explain you anyways now the normal eligibility i have explained you aadhar card number should be linked to your active mobile number now guys in this program there are four parts okay like if i click on the apply link which is here i think it is at the top yeah so if if this if we try to open this apply link we can see that there are these four parts right software development apprenticeship digital business marketing apprenticeship project management apprenticeship and data analytics apprenticeship okay 
so first of all your english communication skills should be very good i was showing you this document it's also very very relevant for you the you know software development apprenticeship anyways so if i try to explain you it is divided in four parts and guys the first two parts are of the tech part and the last two parts are the non tech parts okay so if you are applying to the tech part you need to have some bsc or bca mc msc btech mtech okay for non tech people any of the commerce students with the degree can apply okay now guys let's see you get selected in this apprenticeship program so it is type of internship only but they make you do the work for one year to two year okay and during the last three months of your work depending on your performance google will let you know if you are selected for full time or not so can you imagine how good this opportunity is if you get selected in google software development apprenticeship in the end you can get a google sd offer which has a ctc of 60 lakhs 60 60 to 61 lakhs so the thing is you should try your best okay now my student has cracked it so i exactly know what to guide you so google data analytics apprenticeship selection process and prep so guys in the resume shortlisting please know that all the things mentioned here projects internship skills in sql python excel data visualization tableau power bi problem solving analytical thinking data storytelling all these things will be very very important please follow it for the online assessment for the i am only going to talk about the technical apprenticeships okay the data analyst one and the software development currently i'm talking about the data analyst one okay so in the oa they are just going to ask you aptitude all types of aptitude questions you need to cover even probability a little bit then logical reasoning analytical puzzle puzzles but there will be mcqs on python dbms sql data analytics because that is a core part of data analysis data analyst and data engineering right so you cannot skip it guys okay the preparation tips and everything is mentioned please go through this document is going to help you a lot i'm trying to say things very quickly in this video because i don't want to waste your time i want that you get 101% roi on each second each minute you spend on this video now guys for the telephonic interview ram ram focus areas are guys the english communication skill should be very very good please know that for this data analyst analyst apprenticeship google is check going to check your english communication skills okay so in the telephonic interview the interviewer is just going to talk to you going to take your introduction and will just check a little bit like do you have some technical knowledge or not on the topic have you made some projects or not do you know about data analytics why you want to come for data analytics role only and all those things if you are able to answer these things then they put you in the two face to face interview rounds okay in that loop so prepare for one to two minute elevator pitch as well as uh, mentioned here for background skills projects and interest in data now face to face interview guys sql query writing medium level joins all these things python for data cleaning analysis data visualization scenarios case based problems then round 2 will be technical plus behavioral problem solving some small small dsa coding questions can also be asked to you behavioral plus googliness round so the final tips are be very strong in sql plus python basics because 70% questions are going to be there you need to practice case studies google loves structured thinking work on communication and mock interviews will really help okay and now i am writing selection also because you can get selected right see if i am saying you follow it with your 101% effort you are going to get selected assuming you know at least uh, some basic to intermediate level of programming and technical skills you have now guys i know that 95 to 98% 99% of my audience is uh, interested in software development apprenticeship right so guys see this means that they are basically giving you sd internship for 1 to 2 years then they will convert you to sd1 what do they want they only want dsa google asks hard unseen dsa problems in their oa and interview for software development apprenticeship sd1 sd intern sd2 okay so if you are preparing for google na one very important tip i have mentioned here which will really really help you which is please do not depend on influencer dsa sheets like love bomber sheet striver sheet and then many more sheet frash sheet i don't know like how many sheets are there in the market or do not depend on just doing 200 to 500 standard dsa problems from lead code gfg and daily potd and all that okay because google will always ask you a new question which is a story based question in their oa and interview in general 
so basically you need problem solving skills uh, critical thinking skills and very high level skills of analyzing the given new problem to you but generally students follow the these uh, standard questions and the standard dsa sheets and they end up memorizing the standard stuff which is not enough so you need to do lots of hard level dsa plus oa plus cp training to you know crack this software development apprenticeship or even sd1 sd2 roles okay so resume shortlisting strong focus on your dsa coding projects past internship open source contributions you need to highlight problem solving abilities like solve 1200 plus problems or lead code code forces at the high ratings and achievements in hackathons things like that online assessment the thing which people fear the most see at the top i have given the google oa dsa video solution watch it so you understand the type of question okay in online assessment many many hard and sin dsa problems of various topics will be there like all the google oa asked google oa questions asked in the last 5 years i have maintained the list so you can go through them to get a very good idea about it if you are my course student there are video solutions also of these problems in the course most of them please make sure you go through them so you are well prepared okay and if you are youtube community student please complete this warm up course it will really help you a lot it will act actually make your fundamentals and basic very very strong daily i am getting very very good reviews about it people are really getting very strong so please do it so in online assessment dsa heavy coding round with unseen problems dynamic programming and all hard variations of dynamic programming and the problems mixed with dynamic programming and other topics will be asked to you graph shortest path bfs dfs cycle topological sorting but obviously not in normal way in a hard unseen way trees general trees okay not binary trees general trees dp on trees and diameter lca binary search on answer and you know some uh, hard problems on greedy algorithms okay hard problems hard unseen problems on greedy algorithms can also be asked to you okay so greedy algorithms i have written it for you people i really love you all i just want that you get maximum value from me i just want to contribute as much as possible i want the roi to be the highest now guys the preparation resources you know google loves dp right so 50 hour free dynamic programming course for fangm level oa and interview please do it fifth this is 50 hour and this is 51 hour best warm up dsa oacp course please do it my free weekend live training group please join it where i teach you live for this on saturday sunday i just want to serve you now guys face to face interview the question will be not as difficult as it is of the oa round but it will be a medium to hard level problems or dp t graphs binary search and greedy okay sometimes string based problems are also as you can look at look at them okay round 2 can have little bit more harder questions and graph greedy dp binary search greedy problems okay final so final selection will totally based upon you know are you following all the coding interview etiquette or not how much you could get the correct solution yourself did you communicate with the interviewer properly did you discuss the you know time complexity space complexity were you able to discuss everything with the interviewer and jot down all your thoughts in the document were you authentic in the interview because you know these days google is taking the last round in office to make sure that the candidate you know really knows the thing so don't try to do any kind of cheating stuff you will get caught okay so the two week preparation road map guys i have also given here for the software development apprenticeship where the day 13 day 14 are mock oa simulation and mock interview it's going to really really help you a lot arrays binary search recursion dp trees graph hard dp digit dp dp with states graph advanced mixed problem sets because they can ask you tree plus dp binary search plus greedy mixed problems so final tips for sd track focus on hard unseen problem don't just memorize patterns always move from brute force to optimize solution in interviews practice explaining why your approach works interviewers care about thought process use the free resources given here okay google oa list is also there as i said do not depend on influencer dsa sheets or just doing 200 to 500 standard dsa problems from leetcode gfg because google always asks hard and since story based problems in their oa plus interview in general interview is easy than oa but there is another person analyzing you your code your thought process and talking to you all the time in the interview so even though the interview problems are not as difficult as oa it becomes difficult because the other person is there checking you all the time now guys if you are my core student 800 to 950 hour videos on each of these topics are there in your course i would suggest you to please open your course and do them if you are regular student you must be knowing all these things if you are a little irregular students please open your course and do it okay like most of my students are regular so 
even the previous statement we can cancel does not matter so all the core students please have faith in god good health good mindset and same for the youtube community students and complete the 800 to 950 hour videos which i have given to you okay they are the best structured videos in the entire country india bharat and in the entire world for dsu ocp now youtube community see for each of these topics i have 200 hour videos in my course but on youtube i have put like 50 hour videos on each of these topics so even if you prepare from there you will have 50 to 80 percent chances of selection so complete my greedy 50 hour playlist from youtube then dp playlist from youtube then tree playlist graph playlist math playlist then hashing playlist very very important hashing two pointer sliding window might not be directly asked but and the string concepts might not be directly asked but they are you know indirectly always involved in the problems binary search playlist of oa dssep where you do them you will fall in love with my teaching style please try it one time now the interview preparation document is also clear to you so hopefully you guys got lots of value from this video any kind of help you need from me please ask in the comment uh, even my whatsapp number is printed you can always message there as i get time from one to one mentoring and daylight training my students i'll help you out so with the name of god ram ram and yes one more thing some students were asking about the program so guys i run this day live training plus one to one mentoring program and the job referral program like the job referrals of top 500 companies are available and i can give it to you anytime you want if you are my co course program student because i have many many like thousand plus students working in top tech companies okay the batches are different for beginners in dsa versus intermediate in dsa versus advanced in dsa that's how the time gets saved okay 24 percent doubt support is there special one-to-one -one mentoring is there with me every night me and the other mentors take your personal updates to keep you on proper track we try to give you the best personal plan as per your situation okay special discount offers are there on the september batch and i just want your photo to come here like you got selected here you got selected there i just want you to excel and the top cp performances i want from you cp training is also there then system design full stack dev training is also there and you know personally helping you before and guiding you before your interview and test i just love doing this thing but if you are my youtube student even the youtube stuff is enough because on youtube i have put like 200 to 250 hour videos man or girl please use it with the name of god ram ram yeah, when you get selected no matter you are my course student or community student always message me okay i would like to give you some gift and congratulations ram ram